used to come here alone a long time ago. I'd practice my lines out here. The night sea would be dark and swirling, and I would think it's just like me. And the sea is just like me now. It's clean and shining. That's how I feel, too. When I'm with you, I feel like I can start thinking of myself as a decent person. Oh, yeah. The whole point of wanting to see you today. It's homemade. I probably could have bought something that tastes better, but I figured that the thought counts for more than the flavor. You don't have to eat it, but please accept my gift. Really? Thank you! Actually, I was hoping you'd say that. It's a bit unfair of me to expect you to, isn't it? Well, will you eat it then? Wasn't that good for a first attempt? I found out that I could apply some of my other cooking techniques to it. Do you like sweets? Then maybe I'll practice making more. I don't have an oven though, so I can't make everything. Even if it tastes bad, I hope you'll at least try it. I think it's the coldest time of the year. It's hard to imagine it'll get warmer and warmer. You're not going to be here when the cherry blossoms bloom again. I wanted to see the flowers with you. I wanted to go to the zoo with you and to amusement parks or go on an adventure to some place far away. There are so many things I want to do with you. But you're not going to be here anymore. I'll do the best I can to live without you. Please, tell me my time with you isn't over yet. Or else, I'll be so worried. Yeah, I guess all I can do is believe in you. I don't want to be apart from you. I don't want this to be over. I love you, too. There's so much I worry about for the future, but I know that the way I feel about you now is solid. I'll always be in love with you, and that won't ever change. <laughs>